If you're thinking about changing the sump pump in your home, I'd like to share a couple tips. And you have two choices in the type of switch you have. One is a tethered switch, which is basically a float that moves up and down with the water. The downside with that is you need at least a 14 inch wide pit or larger. And if you have pipes coming into the pit, it actually can get hung up on that. What I prefer is a vertical float switch. And this is connected to a vertical rod. It can't get hung up on anything. And you only need an 11 inch wide pit or larger, so much more versatile. Also, if you have a plastic body or a cast iron body, customers a lot of times have a question, what's better? And I spoke to a couple different manufacturers and they say that there's no difference in the mechanics of the sump pump. It's just that some customers like a heavier body. So I prefer a plastic, it's much cheaper, and also it's lighter, easier to work with. And the other thing is the size, uh, the horsepower. And in general, a half horse is great for most applications. And if you need, or if you're curious about the exact horsepower, I'm going to put a number underneath the video, and you'll call the number, you'll give them the distance, the height of the discharge pump coming out of the pit, and then also the overall length, and they'll tell you exactly the horsepower that you should use. But a couple tips if you're thinking about changing your sump pump.